Greetings YouTube, Joe here with Culination Media and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon White. This is episode number 55 and in the last episode we took on the Elite Four and we defeated them. So this time we have to see who exactly is the champion. Is it Alder or is it N? And I have a pretty good idea of what happened but I guess we just have to wait and find out. So here's N and Alder. It's over. Never again will Pokemon be made to suffer or be held captive by humans. It's all thanks to my friend Rashiram. You may have the title of champion, but you can't stop me with just a title. Your soft heart has left you weak. Years ago, you lost your Pokemon, your partner, to sickness. In order to forget the pain in your heart, you wandered Unova. Who knows how long it's been since you've had to fight with your full strength. Actually, I actually kind of like that about you, though. As a trainer who far outmatches the champion, I shall issue an order across Unova. Trainers of the world, free your Pokemon. I beg you, separating people from Pokemon do anything but that. You and I both put our beliefs on the line and fought with all of our strength, and I won. Do not say another word. Uh-oh, he spotted us. I've been waiting. In the future, I envisioned you obtained a stone, and indeed you have. That dark stone, Rashiram is responding to it. Stop. This is not a suitable place for the legendary dragons. From the ground, rise up the castle of Team Plasma. Surround the Pokemon League. I'm going to be switching this uh, cutscene into uh, vertical screens because it's meant to be viewed that way. Just for your information, I'll switch it back right after. But this cutscene is actually pretty awesome. Somehow, um, they developed a huge ass castle for N and Team Plasma that can rise up out of the ground whenever N says so, which I think is kind of crazy. Uh, but as you can see, the Pokemon League is just dwarfed by this huge castle. And uh, this is where the final battle of the game is going to be taking place. And this is just kind of ridiculous if you ask me. Well, I guess there you have it, and the lightning bolt in the background seals the deal. What has just appeared is Team Plasma's castle. The king's word will resound from the heights to all below. You must come to the castle as well. Everything will be decided there. Whether Pokemon will be liberated from people, or whether Pokemon and people will live together. We will see whose belief is stronger, and our result will change the world. And off he goes. Huh. Hey, Sharon. Mr. Alder, you're a wreck. It's not fitting for the champion. You did well to get this far. Somehow, I beat the Pokemon League, but it wasn't easy. Er, I have to congratulate you. I became stronger because I understood what I wanted to do. Kill Nation, tell end this. Some people grow stronger by being with Pokemon. My Pokemon and I are proof. Together, we learn... Valuable lessons. I, I lost. I should have been able to demonstrate the bond between me and my Pokemon. That would have shown that brat the worthlessness of his outrageous dreams. You go, Alder. So his convictions were the real thing. Be careful. The ones who change the world are always the ones who pursued their dreams. I ask this of you. Even if Pokemon and people are separated, nothing good will come of it. Please let him know that. Okay. I'll look after Alder. Yeah, because he looks very distressed right now. So up the ramp we go, and into N's castle. Oh look, six sages. Those in accord with fate are preserved, and those who rebel against fate perish. When the way is forgotten, duty and justice appear. One can lose the forest for the trees. If you make a mistake and do not correct it, that is the second mistake. Oh, such words of wisdom here. Superior men understand what is right. Inferior men understand what will sell. There are not two suns in the sky, nor two sovereigns over the people. Oh, okay. Well, I guess you are going to take me out here. If anything should happen to our king, it would be disastrous. It would ruin Gestus's perfect plan. He's the other sage. Our lord N will be disappointed, but the six of us shall defeat you here. Uh, well, this isn't good. Six against one. Can you manage that? Who could that be? Oh, hello, Clay. Still standing, are you, Cullination? 
I suppose so. You, your drift feels hurt. Ain't just me. Oh, look at them all. Everybody is here. So sorry. Not only are we stronger than you, but there are a lot of us. Yeah, two for every sage-ish. Almost. Okay, not quite. That would be a terrible thing for us gym leaders to do. Bianca asked us to come too. Ah, Bianca saves the day. But uh, everybody's here except for the uh, three brothers from uh, the first gym. Hmm. Where could they be? Doesn't matter. Well, now that these sages are busy, we can move on throughout the castle. Uh, there's not going to be anyone that we have to battle in here as we make our way to the top. Uh, but there's quite a few rooms to go into, and I'm going to be going into all of them, so it's going to take a while. I'll talk to people and just see what's going on. Haha! <laughs> we Team Plasma are using the Pokemon! Okay, I know. I know what you do. Uh, you don't have anything good to say either. Some of these rooms have items and such. Uh, there's a place to heal, I believe, also. So, yeah. Oh, the Shadow Triad, or just one of them. In this castle, you may rest your Pokemon and access your PC. Fear not. Cool. First, have your Pokemon rest in that room. When they are healed, it is our Lord N's wish that you be moved to the innermost part of this castle. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to have to listen to the wishes of N. Now, who the hell are these people? I am Anthea, trainer. Before you go to confront my Lord N, please take a moment to rest. I don't know who the hell she is, but she heals us up. Ah, good. Now you're all healthy. Trainers battle to practice and grow experience. My lord N has realized this. Ah, whatever. I'm Concordia. I give peace and comfort to N. N has been separated from people since he was young. Um. Okay, you don't have anything good to say, do you? This is just backstory. Talking about how N was raised by Pokemon and it's not very comfortable with people and all that stuff. Uh, well, I guess there's nothing else in this room. Just make sure you get healed up, because I'm sure you're banged up after battling the Elite Four, so... You kind of need that. Alright, now you people. More Team Plasma guys. Hmm, okay, you didn't have anything for me. I see an item up there. Um, okay, I'll just go pick that up. Why not? A Max Potion! Yay! Pretty sure I'm okay on potions, but... An extra max potion here or there. Can't hurt, so let's go up to the next level. Alright, another room. Let's see what this room has. What the hell? I guess this is uh, where we access our PC. Um, so I don't need to use the PC for anything. I have everyone that I need with me. Um, but you can um, use it if you need to sub out anyone. I just don't need to do that. A manifestation of knowledge! Apparently they can steal Pokemon from other trainers' PCs. So, Team Plasma has, like, scientists working with them, too, and hackers. It's kind of interesting, I guess. Uh, another item. A Max Revive! Wow, that is actually something very useful. I love Max Revives. It's a shame you can't buy them. As part of his plan... Uh, let's see... Uh, no, I don't care. Okay, I thought you were going to say something cool and interesting, but apparently not. Alright, one more room here. And who is this? This Pokemon has become attached to me, but as far as I'm concerned, a Pokemon is just a tool, so he doesn't understand. Okay, I'm not going to talk to those two up there. I don't really care that much, so it looks like we're headed up to the next level. But not before our Shadow Triad stops us. A battle between you and our Lord N will reveal whether our Lord N is a true hero. It will also reveal how you feel about protecting the current world, where people live with Pokemon. You can feel the anticipation just building up here, the suspense. Oh, they're really building up this last battle. That room was the world that was provided to our Lord N. I don't feel anything even when I go into the room, but you may feel something. Alright, well let's check it out see what's here. This is apparently where N stayed. And it's kind of interesting, I guess, but uh, the main interest is the rare candy just laying in the middle of this little half-pipe thingy. 
Um, the music's kind of creepy. And it's a variation of N's theme, obviously, but let's uh, skedaddle. We don't need to be in there. We've got bigger, more important things to deal with. Like whether it was in this room. Let's grab this. A full restore. Another something that I can use. Fantastic. Somewhere far from here, Team Galactic and Team Rocket drew too much attention to themselves. That's why their plans were thwarted. Well, making a giant castle just shoot out of the ground around the Elite Four is kind of drawing attention to yourself. A trainer, uh, I don't care. Uh, what do you have to say? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, so a lot of this is just, um, I guess for show. Only a couple of the rooms actually have items that you want to uh, use. Uh, I guess we have... Oh, oh, that must be the last room. Hello, Getsis. Welcome, holder of the Dark Stone. The castle that appeared as if it were enveloping the Pokemon League is a symbol. It means Unova will change. Uh, you're going to start pacing. The king of this castle is the strongest trainer in the world. He's accompanied by the legendary Pokemon. He has defeated the champion. Added to all that, his heart burns with a desire to improve the world. If that's not what makes a hero, what more do you need? Now that the stage is set, we can seize people's minds and hearts. We can bring into being the world that I know that Team Plasma desires more easily than you can imagine. We and only we will use Pokemon and we shall rule the powerless populace. I've been waiting so long for this. I've kept my silence so no one could piece together what I planned. Now those painful days are at an end. Go onward. Discover whether you have what it takes to be a hero. Um, all right, well, I guess let's do this. Oh, and ah, the throne room. What I desire is a world for Pokemon and Pokemon alone. I will separate Pokemon from people so Pokemon can regain their original power. Oh boy. It's time to settle this once and for all. My determination is complete. I will prove the value of my beliefs even if it means my Pokemon friends get hurt. Since you've come this far, I believe you are equally determined. If that's so, prove it to me. Show me the depth of your concentration or determination. I pressed A before I actually read that part. One of those two. A little bit more talking here. You came all this way to battle me, but Zekrom is not responding. You haven't yet been recognized as the hero, have you? Actually, no, we haven't. How disappointing. I actually kind of liked you a little. Through our many battles, I got the feeling that you might be a trainer who truly cares for Pokemon. Oh, you're shaking your head? But I was kidding myself. The idea of trainers getting to know each other through battles is ridiculous. You have two options. Challenge me to a fight you can't win, or leave this place and watch the birth of a new world where Pokemon are free of people. Rashiram, come to me! I'm gonna uh, turn this cutscene into vertical um, viewing as well, because that's how it was meant to be viewed. And here comes Rashiram through the wall. Oh man, these cutscenes are actually pretty awesome. So, it's not enough for him to just shoot through the wall. Apparently, he also needs to just create a giant ball of fire, which is just awesome. And I'll shut up for the rest of this cutscene, let's watch this. Okay, well the stage is set. There is Rashiram. Ready for battle. Uh-oh, what was that? The Dark Stone, it's trembling inside the bag. Your Dark Stone is, I mean, Zekrom is... Here we go. It's time for Zekrom to be awakened. And we have another cutscene coming up here with the awakening of our legendary... Dragon-type Pokemon. The Darkstone draws in the aura, aura of the surroundings and converts it into energy which is being released. Oh, and this actually... I think this cutscene is actually cooler. Man. Alright, let's watch this. Zekrom is awakening.
Okay, both Dragon Pokemon are awake. They were once one life, one Pokemon, complete opposites yet the same. Rashiram and Zekrom are Pokemon that appear before the hero they recognize. So I guess that means we're the hero. I see, you really are a hero too. I'll tell you what that Pokemon is saying to you. I want to battle with you, try to make me your friend and ally. It plans to test you to see if you are really pursuing ideals. I also am curious to see how powerful you are. Now catch Zekrom and make it your ally. And you have no choice but to enter into battle with Zekrom here. You do have the opportunity to save if you want to. I'm not going to um, because I'm actually going to be using the Master Ball because I actually passed on using it against um, Thunderous. Zekrom here is at level 50. If you're playing Black, Rashiram is also at level 50. You will get healed after this battle before you have to uh, actually get the battle end. Uh, so don't worry about that. But we're going to go for a Master Ball. And that will make this nice and quick. And we also have the opportunity to add Zekrom to our party. So we're going to be switching one of our party members for Zekrom for this uh last battle with N to go up against Rashiram. Does Dragon an electric type Pokemon? Deep Black Pokemon. This Pokemon appears in Legends and it has a giant generator in its tail for electricity. But I'm actually going to stop the episode here and we'll continue with this saga of, the, of an ending against N in the next episode. And let's see. Um, I will take somebody out here. Let's take that trick out. But thank you very much for watching, folks, and please stay tuned for episode 56. Game on!